I fundamentally believe that the art director and the creative director, um, or, or art director and a, and a copywriter rather, um, are perhaps ill-equipped, you know, to to really answer uh, the question of a good, effective, creative idea in this age of the network. Um, I think uh, the the future of the agency. Um, and creative teams will widen out beyond just these, these, you know, the art director and the copywriter to, uh, you know, a planner being at the center of a technologist and at the center of a team with a producer and at the center of a team with a developer and at the center of a team with a UX designer. Um, because this wider team is better equipped to answer um, the question of what's a good creative idea in this age of the network. I don't think it's just as simple anymore as the funniest headline wins and the funniest headline cuts through or the prettiest art wins. Um, it's sort of this hybrid now of what is a good creative idea and it's, you know, it's art and solutions. It's artful solutions. I see your job very similar to that of an artist in terms of being able to capture reality and observing things that are going on in culture, then processing them and interpreting uh, what we see before coming up with something totally new, with a new observation, a new point of view of how things should be uh, regarding a very specific topic. And uh, I think that's very valuable within an agency. Uh, that's the freshness that we bring into the table. Well, what creativity needs in strategists is really amplifying and bringing to life the creative. So I think it's much more about finding the true utility and power of brands, which, God forbid, transcends traditional communications into design and experience. I think those are the types of creative outputs that are required from planners. I think the, tr the traditional role of planning or, or of a strategic planner has become impotent because the needs from a creative end have really evolved. There's a great opportunity professionally when you can marry the world of being a business partner and being creatively tapped in to build these bridges between the problem in question and the vastness that to all these things that are out there that we didn't know we didn't know existed. Planners themselves don't even have a, a right definition of what planning is about. So um, when people are coming to our university where planning is not on a schedule, um, students, they don't really have an image of what it is all about. And um, people are coming to give speeches and telling the first guy is telling that he's kind of a consultant, while the second guy sees himself as a creative, which is confusing people. I think the goal of the planner isn't to make the complex simple, but to make the complex understandable. It's that richness and depth uh, that a planner can bring to a brief that can lead to creative that's truly going to resonate with consumers. Planners need to be more craftsmen. Planners and the planning discipline needs to be a guild. As planners being the people behind the, the thinking and ideas for, for forming and shaping a brand, uh, it's easy to get caught up in the tactics and the rules and the next steps for doing this or that. But I think stepping back and really nailing down what, what you value from uh, a community perspective or looking at the social side of things, um, really letting those form and, and shape uh, the deeper values that a planner holds, I think ultimately are going to be what provides the most value ultimately to that brand. I think a think tank like person is going to be where uh, account planning has its value. I think those are the people that will provide amazing, tremendous value to agencies um, and clients. But the trick is going to be can we convince clients to pay for this? Because I think that's the one thing that we, planning continues to evolve, and that's great, but, but, but we got to get people to pay for this. And I think that it's a tough sell to, to say to a client, who came to the agency for basically a piece of communications that they want executed to say to them we also want to basically consult you um, on your communications um, because that's not how advertising is necessarily thought of.
if advertising wants to wants to get back out there and get back the control of the marketing communication industry or or larger perspective of the marketing communication industry, they need to they need to start developing and selling products more related to to strategy. And this is where the planner comes in. So so I think that if advertising wants to get back its its prominent role in marketing communication as part of marketing communication, then it's the planner and the strategists who actually will be that important key that actually gives them the opportunity to get it back, as they will be the ones that can facilitate a larger perspective, a larger view in regards to marketing communication than just the production of the ideas and the execution uh, of the advertising. Thank you.